Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sanjana. In today's video, I'll be doing a review and flip through of the Positive Planner. By the way, if you're a planner lover and you haven't subscribed yet, do consider subscribing to my channel because I have lots and lots of videos that are there already. You can go and catch up and I upload almost every single day. So there are lots more coming up too. So yeah, do consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's get started with the video. First of all, I wanna thank the Positive Planner brand for sending me this planner. I came across their brand when they reached out to me and um, I was just super excited because the prompts in here are so good. Like You're gonna understand that in a second. Before we get into the planner, I wanna show you the freebies that the planner comes with. So the first freebie I have here is this A6 pocket size notebook. I am just fallen in, I've fallen in love with the pocket sized anything basically, but notebooks are just, they're just so cute and handy. I'm really liking them and I'm so happy that this is in dot grid because most of the pocket notebooks uh, that I have are lined. So I'm really happy that this is in dot grid so I can probably create something nice with this. Usually with the lined ones, I sort of end up writing lists. I wanna save them up. So let's see what I can do with uh, this one this year. Okay, so this is the first one. Then second I have is this cutout. Um, I think you can use it like in your scrapbooking or also you can use it like a bookmark. It says, follow your passion and live your purpose. So this is the second freebie. The third one is this positive sticker. This is their brand logo. So you can put it either on your planner or inside or, uh, you know, it's such a nice word like positive. You can create, use it uh, in any of the spreads that you're creating too. Then we have these cards. I'm just so fascinated by this whole concept. So the first one you have here is goal card. So at the back, you can write, I'm so happy and grateful that. So any goal that you achieved during the year, you can come here and write that. Then you have a bunch of these like certificates, you know, inspiration award goes to humorous award, beautiful soul award, mentor award, and happy face award. I think this will be great if um, like when you're gifting something to people or writing cards, I think this would be like a nice addition, you know, instead of gift tags and stuff, you can probably punch this up and add it at the top of your gift and um, you can write the person's name. So it's just so nice. So this is the first time I'm seeing these and it's kind of cute and nice. So I really like this. Then we have sticker pages, four sticker pages. Uh, you guys know I love stickers. So, and I know even you like, you love them. So the first one we have here are the themed ones. And these are in, you know, in their brand colors, the brand theme. You have me time, finances, self-talk, uh, listen and appreciate. And then you have yes day, mindfulness day, forgiving day and grow others. What I like about these icons is that they're quite versatile. You need not uh, use it exactly as it's intended to. You can put it based on how you uh, perceive them. So I like that. Uh, then we have uh, two more gold stickers. So these are, these are a bunch of icons, uh, functional icons. So yeah, this is good as well. You have lots of them here actually and it's nice that one like particular design has been repeated a lot because sometimes i really love the stickers but they're just given in like one or two quantities so having multiple stickers of each design like it just allows me to use it whenever i want to rather than thinking about okay i might be, need this during that time so let me save up for it so that's nice too okay so these were the freebies now let's get into the planner this planner is available in three different colors. I will leave all of the colors um, on the screen here so you can check it out. I picked the coral one. They were kind enough to let me choose which one I want to pick. So I absolutely love this color and uh, that's the reason I picked it up. But there are other colors that are uh, good too. This one was my favorite. And on the cover here, you have this beautiful like stencil sort of design uh, in the mandala theme. I really like it and you've got the tree of life. Um, I knew this concept, but 
sort of you know I'd forgotten about it and then recently um, I had to pick up a gift for someone uh, from India and I picked up a I picked up a tree of life painting and that's when I was trying to understand what this concept is about uh, entirely and the actual artist who painted that I was talking to him and he explained me about the concept I really love it and I'm so happy to see it here because it's just, it gives such a nice vibe and it reminds me of all the uh, all the things that I heard about it so this is one and you've got like the affirmations in here too it says uh, it's such in like tiny details like I'm creating the life of my dreams I'm becoming the best version of myself I am enough I have the power to create the life I desired I choose to be happy dream believe create I just really like all of these aspects I love affirmations I love quotes I really like that I'm so happy that it's incorporated on uh, the cover okay now we get into the plan order so first when we open you have the intro page and then you have a couple of like notes from the brand this is really nice i i really like when brands include um notes and then you have the like they've given sort of um like a manual you know to use instructions manual like how to use it or like what your journey would be while you're using this planner <clears throat> that's really nice i'll allow you to discover this for yourself i don't want to get into the detail because it was such a nice thing for me to have a look at this uh when i got it after this one we have the introduction about the planner then we start off with the collection pages and these are the pages before your months and weeks begin i call them collection pages because i was using bullet journals uh many years back and that's what we used to call in the bullet journal community so the first activity we have here is to get clarity and I love prompts I mentioned in the beginning I really love prompts and I love the prompts that they've included in this planner because uh, journaling through this prompts I feel would be really valuable and another thing that I like about this planner is they've not they've just not given the prompts and left it off they've even given an explanation as to like how to use them and what's the benefit to like what benefits are you going to get out of this exercise it is especially great for someone who's new to journaling or new to personal development or new to using a planner but they're a little bit intimidated i feel it's it's just great for them and this here they talk about the why uh, to know your purpose like knowing why you want to do something is really important so i like this activity too then you have your belief system it's just i'm i'm really surprised how much value is packed in this planner then you have uh, finding out your ikigai um, and then your action like how do you want to take action i just love this uh, basically you know um in my main planner i set up the the quintessential plan doing all of these activities would be really helpful for you to um like come to conclusions as to what to put in your quintessential planner so i'm i'm super happy that it's included in one of the planners and then you have something called as i'm not really sure what this is okay this is the reticular activating system okay basically this is um i've explained about this in my affirmations video in case you want to check that out do check it out i was not sure of the abbreviation but uh reticular activity uh activating system it's it's just really fascinating and i highly recommend you to look at this uh particular concept and then you have your vision board love that it's quite minimal too this is uh, their brand color so you find this color i think mostly this color everywhere but other than that this planner is quite minimal so if you're someone who uses decorative elements stickers washi tapes scrapbooking stuff um this planner would be would be good then you have your goal setting page pages i really really like it and if you have these kind of goal setting pages i don't really think you need to set up your uh quintessential plan i think some some things you might need to add but the this is quite extensive extensive too uh another thing that i wanted to mention is if you have been using planners for some time now but you um you want to take it take it up a notch i think this planner is really good because it gets into like it goes a lot deeper compared to the other planners that i have seen then you have a bunch of these so you're you're like you have plenty of spaces to set your goals 
then you start off with your monthly pages so each month you have this page and you have like your goals categorized so every single month it is a nice reminder for you to think about all the aspects of your life and set short term goals that is, that is something i really like and these goals uh, that you're setting here can be um, your milestones so thinking about how you or any of your action tasks you can put it over here and see okay let's say milestone one action two you're gonna tackle in january or milestone two action number four you're gonna tackle in may so that's really nice i think uh, it's it's like a great continuation none of these spreads are uh, just in isolation it's it it is a con continuation and I think this journey thing puts it up like explains it to you really really well so make sure uh, if you're interested in picking up this planner make sure to check out the um, the journey image on the website then you have the monthly planning page and this too is like very bullet journal style I've done this kind of spreads it works really well and you have your three top three outcomes of this month or you can add your priorities then you have a notes section so you can add anything that you want to you can use it based on what's going on in your life and then you have the state and day um, here you can write down any appointments you have for that particular day or like important dates and stuff then you get into the weekly pages i love it i really like the size of this planner uh, because you have your days set up at the at the top like probably three-fourths of the page and at the bottom here you have all of your like weekly planning as well as a weekly reflection so adding a lot of pages might have made made this planner even more bulkier so i'm happy that everything fits within this also um using a planner wherein your weekly planning page and weekly reflection page were on separate pages where your days were there there are some weeks where i do end up missing it having it in the same page will make sure that you you don't miss it and you're you are doing this activity probably on a on a sunday or something you can sit down and do it or monday morning you can sit down and plan here so each day you have a gratefulness section by the way doing all of these activities is like it it's it plays an important role in this journey map that they have given so it's really really helpful i love that aspect of this planner and you have your top three priorities here and your planning page and you can sort of rate your day give number of stars um then in your month sorry in your weekly planning you have main outcome of this week and then your ultimate goal is dash then you have a habit tracker um this is a, like a different type of habit tracker i've never really used a circular one so uh should see how it goes let's see how it goes monday okay i think here you add your goal in these um arches and then here you mark it and this is your weekly reflection section so you have uh, a notes page like a note box you can write anything you want magical events that happened this week where did i fall sorry where did i fail and how will i improve next week these prompts are really good but in case you have any other prompts that has worked out for you in the past and you want to continue it this year it is so tiny that you can easily put a white out over it and uh, add your own prompt too but i feel like these prompts are quite good and anyways they've given a note section so here you can customize add a customized um prompt then you have all of your weeks uh by the way all these are undated so you have from january till december but the weekly pages are undated yeah so each month comes with one let's see how many um yeah one two three four five you have five weeks in each month also another thing that i noticed is weekend is clubbed it's not like you don't have it saturday and sunday separately if this works out for you great otherwise i think you can like divide the box or something um i like my weekends to be separate actually because um i do quite a few things on saturdays uh, that are different from sundays my saturday and sunday looks very very different to each other 
Uh, but another thing that I noticed in one of the planners that I was using where weekends were clubbed is that I stopped using my planners during the weekends and that was a nice experience too. Like weekends were kind of free flowing, weekdays I would sit and plan stuff, but weekends I would give myself a break and, and just really live life without planning stuff. So that was, that was a nice thing too that you might experience. And then you have the monthly reflection page. Um, here too, they've given a bunch of prompts that are, I feel, I really like the prompts that are in here and in this planner. And I'm thinking about how, uh, like in what ways I can use this planner because I love that. I love the prompts that are in here. I feel they're gonna be great. Um, and then you have a note section too. And I think this is great if you wanna add any memories, or any highlights in that particular month. Um, and then you go on for all the 12 months. This is a very minimal planner. It's quite functional and very um, personal development oriented. So if that is a focus for you in 2023, I think this will be really great. Then after your uh, December gets over, you have these adult coloring pages. And these again are very much uh, personal development oriented. So it's, this is an affirmation. It says, I am enough self-love um i love these kind of coloring pages i have a coloring book actually and it is i don't have it with me right here in probably in the next video or something i'll show it to you guys or in the future videos uh, that is based around like buildings throughout the world like on architecture and this is self-love it says miracles every day grateful uh, then thank you do it inspire freedom i think these are great like word of the years too if you if there's something that really resonates with you a lot you can choose um your word of the year here and says now and these are just some universal elements uh, then love be kind and then you move to your um, end of the year pages. So this one says, take a decision. Okay, I think this is really nice. It's actually nice. Um, I'm looking at this, by the way, these pages for the first time here. I like it. I think when you're really confused or if you wanna make a decision regarding, um, like it's a major decision. I think this is this activity is kind of nice. I. I do a very similar one, but let me talk through what's here. So you have a situation, is it a want or is it a need? And then how do you feel about it? What are the pros, what are the cons, best case scenario, worst case scenario, what's your gut feeling, what's your final decision and what steps do you wanna take? It is absolutely good. What I usually do when I'm faced with a decision that I'm really hesitant to go with, or I'm a little bit confused, I, I do the best case scenario and worst case scenario and I see if I've prepped myself for the worst case scenario and then I go ahead with it because even if it doesn't work out, I'm already prepped for the worst case scenario. This particular exercise goes into a lot more detail, which is quite good. So you have a bunch of these decision making uh, pages. Then you have positive tasks. This is a nice inspiration probably when you're feeling a little bit like you're in a rut or you're feeling a little bit demotivated, you can come to this page and look at any of the tasks and probably do that and you, you, you're gonna feel really good. Uh, so open doors and hold it for people behind you, learn one negotiation skill, write a love letter to yourself, get up early to watch the sunrise, and they're quite nice activities. This, this side, you have your bucket list of the year, so probably things that you wanna do or you can use it as a wish list to things that you wanna purchase. Then you have your um, notes pages. I really like that they have um, like used the title million dollar ideas. That's really nice. I have lots of these and I like that it's dot grid too. So lines kind of make it a little bit restrictive and add you to write a list. Dot grid helps to like either add stickers or doodle or brainstorm, create mind maps. Um, then you have interesting people I have met life lessons to tell the world love this then notes bunch of like notes pages um yeah yeah 
that is it that is it for the planner then you have a back pocket here comes with a pen loop and an elastic closure by the way you have two bookmarks here and um, this i think you can use one on your monthly page and one on your weekly pages or you can use one on the vision board and one on your weekly pages this will really help you um, like look at the vision board every single day so that is quite nice and this planner is available on amazon i will leave a link to it in the description box below it is very very affordable um, based on the value that you're getting the quality the pages too um, are, are quite nice like quite thick and nice yep the paper quality is pretty good i'm not sure whether they've given the gsm in it or not i'm not really sure about that but the the, the quality is good like i can i can feel it uh, based on the like hundreds of books and planners that i have used so um check it out i will like i said i will leave a link to it in the description box the price i think the current discounted price might be 999 last i checked it was 999 do check it out if it's available at that price if it is it it's definitely is is a really really good deal you can use this even for journaling or to write down any affirmations it's quite nice i'm really thinking about how i can incorporate this into my routine because i love the all the prompts that are here i think they're gonna be really really helpful so let's see how it goes let me know what you think about it do you like it um are you fascinated to check it out would you consider buying let me know in the comments below i'd be really interested also there are more like planner reviews um and and flip throughs coming up this week so stay tuned for it subscribe if you haven't already also click that notification bell because sometimes the timings might fluctuate a little bit and um and yeah give this video a thumbs up too okay guys i'll leave you on that note thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye